there are of course mental health issues related to COVID in Cambodia as well. People, they lost jobs, they lost uh, incomes, they lost their loved ones. A lot of uh, patients of mine had relapsed during this first eight months. In 2021, we have more than 2,000 cases of counseling, which is three times the numbers that we have last year. But I think it's maybe only a tip of the icebergs. Cambodia had been through suffering from war, from the genocide, Khmer Rouge, and then war again. A lot of things trigger the memory of the past in relation to COVID. For example, during the lockdown, the city were quiet. People cannot travel from one place to another. And people think that, wow, this is like Phnom Penh under the Khmer Rouge. I think uh, it's not only client, uh, some general public, older people also make this kind of connection. Providing online counseling is not new for TPO. Prior to COVID, we have a hotline counseling for a stop suicide program, which is funded by the Australian uh, government. When the COVID start, we have experience in uh, working uh, with people through online or virtually. So we starting to implement that straight away. I think there are a lot of people outside Phnom Penh who need mental health support, but there is no support available. Mental health has not been a priority. But I think everyone needs mental health care. In 1992, I was a junior doctor working in the rural area. And I see uh, people with mental health problems, schizophrenic patients. I start to wonder uh, what kind of problem is this? There was no psychiatrist, no professor survive who can teach us. In 2008, I have an opportunity to get the Australian Award uh, Scholarship. This helped me to look at mental health in terms of cultures. The mental health issue, a lot of time, related to the cultural belief. You know, when people believe on something, their mental health presentation or mental health reactions is according to their belief, their culture. We need to continue to offer hotline because when people who desperately needed someone to talk to and when they have someone to talk to, it can save their life. Because when someone who wants to commit suicide, if no one cannot listen to them or no one that they cannot talk to, I think they may feel that this is the end of their world, so they may commit suicide and we save their lives through listening to them. That's why it keeps us motivating to do this work. Without TPO, there is no other service that uh, these people can turn to. If we don't do, nobody will do it. It is not easy, you know, from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. They feel tired. Sometimes they want to give up. We have a peer support and we have regular meeting so that people can express their feelings as well. This kind of peer support help them overcome their vicarious traumatization that they may receive from their client. At the moment, there is not many counselors in Cambodia. After COVID, I think these type of people, counselors, social workers, need to be trained to offer the mental health service to the people.